So a while back I did a video about a PTS product versus the real original that they have licensed. It was about the Unity fast mounts or uh, the, the Aimpoint version. Got another one of those today. We've got the PTS version of the MTech Flux helmet. And I also have the actual MTech. This is the carbon fiber. I would imagine most people probably won't have both in the same place at the same time. So I thought we'd do the video. They're pretty simple. I'm just gonna put them down on the table and just look at the different features and we'll, uh, we'll compare. Start off on the outside. And actually, before I forget, I just need to mention PTS did send me this. So full disclosure on that one. But if you think my opinion's for sale for a uh, replica helmet, uh, it, trust me, it's not. Accessories fitment, we'll go cover that. We've got a real MTech cover here on the PTS. It's an a a tactical a Tiger Stripe, very nice. You've got your M-Lock slots. It's an M-Lock slot, yep, they, they work, I've tried them. And then the other thing, your uh, night vision shroud, front of the helmet there. So on the real MTech right now, had the Wilcox mount. So let's try that on the PTS. If, if you hold it tightly, you can get slightly more. There's the tiniest, there's about a millimeter of play in the very end of the real mount when you put it on the PTS. Uh, and there is maybe half a mil on the real MTech. Um, obviously the real MTech has the Wilcox shroud. So yeah, but end of the day, it locks in locks in solidly, that's not going anywhere, uh, all good basically, so yeah, helmet covers, side m lock attachments, front mounts, so whether you've got night vision or camera, if you're playing airsoft, whatever it is, that can go on there, this dink here, just to mention, while I was about to start filming, I just dropped this straight on concrete, uh, like this corner here landed directly on the stone slabs, and uh, that's all it did. So it's uh, it's good plastic here on on the PTS. We can say that for sure because I've tested it, uh, even though it was not deliberate. Now, the actual shell on the PTS, the main aspect of it is glass fiber reinforced ABS. So not quite as good as glass fiber reinforced nylon, but it would cost a lot more if it was nylon. So it's a good strong plastic, glass reinforced, exactly what you're looking for. Uh, so it's going to be a lot better than the, probably, I, I dread to think what the, the generic Chinese unlicensed stuff is made from. So, <clears throat> good good main material there. It's There's just enough flex in the plastic that it's going to, when it actually impacts, it's more likely to bend than crack and break. But it's, it, it's, not, it's not thin, it's not flimsy, it's got a nice texture to it. When you don't have the cover on it, there's a nice texture. Uh, you know, happy with that. The actual M-lock rails on the PTS, same as the real thing, the bolts do not go through. However, for the little, for the little clip attachments for your chin strap on the PTS, they do have small bolts, unlike the real M-Tech. So, for those who don't know, the only difference that's going to make would be if it was real and it had little bolts and you got shot exactly where the screws are going through, there is a small chance that you, you have slightly less ballistic protection. On the PTS one for, uh, for airsoft in, you're absolutely fine. So the real one is all fully set up when it comes. You got the bungees on there, the two layers of pads on the inside. It's got all the Velcro underneath the cover. The PTS, move things around here, in the box, you will get, if you don't want the Velcro loop on it, if you want a slicker look, just don't attach it. Uh, but you do have to attach it if you want it. It comes with the, the base level of pads. If you want to add that second layer, if you need a closer fit, more comfort, then you add the extra pads. If you want the, the bungee cords that go under the M-lock rail, and hook onto whatever device you have on the shroud. You just unscrew that screw there, hook that underneath, get those installed. So yeah, a little bit of assembly required if you want everything. If you don't want that stuff, it's not attached. Six and two threes. To compare the parts on the inside, 
So on the chin strap, yeah, you can tell the difference here. Around when I'm filming, the PTS costs about $120 on their site. The MTech is something in the region of $700, uh, and they used to cost over a grand. So, yeah, obviously they're not the same. You know, the chin strap is an incredibly faithful replica. If you look really close, you can see some small differences, like the this pad, uh, this sort of leathery material here for the chin cup, slightly thicker on the PTS. The MTech stitching. I mean, there's not much in it, I have to say. The MTech's a little better, a little tighter. Um, but there's not, you know, not much in it. The MTech webbing. It probably is a different webbing. But the PTS uses actual nylon webbing. Most of the Chinese knockoffs will be cheap polyester crap. I don't know the material on the PTS uh, buckles, like the, the buckle on the chin strap and stuff. They seem good, they seem well made. Obviously, the M Tech is the uh, everything's the best of the best. I'll also, mention while I'm here because I just spotted it, the there are bolts going through for the shroud on the PTS, so they do go through the shell, which is not the case on the real M Tech either on the carbon or the ballistic. However, again, unless you get shot right here while wearing, uh, Say, say the PTS was ballistic and it had those screws, then you'd have to get shot there, and that is the only situation where those screws would matter. So, overall, I'm going to say that's not an issue. I forgot to mention the logo that's uh, embossed there in both versions. Last thing to mention is the pads. So you've got two layers. Obviously, you can see you've got different marks. You've got PTS written for airsoft only on the PTS. You've got a real MTech uh, lettering. Uh, markings on the real MTech, obviously, and then the pads are slightly different fabrics. The foams are a bit different. I'm st I don't exactly know what foam is in the real MTech, um, but obviously this is it has the official legit ratings for wearing as a, a climbing helmet or the ballistic one as a ballistic protective helmet. Uh, the PTS doesn't have any of those ratings. But would I, is it going to protect your head uh, against, you know, bashing it on walls and stuff, playing airsoft? Yeah, the, you know, it's got a good thick shell to it. The padding is really good. It's, this is such a nicer foam than just your typical cheap Chinese clone crap. Oh, I, I can't even tell you, it's so much. It's one of those things you can't really explain it, but it doesn't feel like standard closed cell. This, it has the feel of actual memory foam type stuff just far just far nicer book velcro on the inside of the pts seems to be the exact same stuff that the real mtech uses it looks like the same material it's probably the same real velcro brand uh, molded hook seems that way anyway can't say it for 100 percent obviously but it looks that way second layer of pads for the pts got the same uh, perforated mesh got that same it's got that nice memory foam type feel to it not your generic cheap foam similar to the real mtech the mtechs are a little softer you can you can feel a slight difference but there's not a ton in it again you know they're not the same like the, the real thing has the ratings the pts does not but by feel for recreational use the pts is really good stuff uh, this is why i like pts stuff they get the official license from the real manufacturer to build a replica uh, MTech doesn't offer, as I'm sure many of you know, they don't offer a plastic model like uh, OpsCore or Team Wendy. So the closest thing is the PTS. And if you are participating in some kind of, you know, if a low level sport like Airsoft, you just need to protect your head against bumping your skull on walls, pipes, uh, you know, people throwing pyro, flank firing grenades, whatever, you know, this, uh, this is going to it's going to make a hell of a difference compared to having just a, a cap on if you feel that you want that protection one thing i need to say that i've had happen to me with the real mtech is if you see these edges here on the pads when i put this on this edge is kind of folded in like that and creates a really really surprisingly painful uncomfortable nasty sharp uh, poking sensation into my forehead and when i've set up the pts with the uh, extra inner layer of pads. I've not had that happen with the PTS because uh, 
the, the fabric on the pads is just slightly different. It's a bit, bit softer, a bit thinner, a uh, bit more flexible. And that, so yeah, that's something I have to be careful of with the real one. Never had a problem with it with PTS. I, you want the real thing, you want the real MTech if you're doing real stuff. But uh, yeah, just one difference I've noticed. So yeah, I think that's all the components covered, folks. Cheers for watching. Hopefully that explains the key differences. I think I've covered them all. And uh, yeah, cheers. I'll see you next time.